Thank you and good afternoon. We are Murray Hill Academy and here to present to you our three teachers and one assistant principal from a transfer high school in Manhattan. Uh, we believe we have a unique proposal here because what we're, we're going to propose is something that is already being practiced in our school. So starting with our vision, for far too long, we believe that professional learning has been top down. It seems that we all agree on this. Not only does this decline to utilize the myriad of skills, ideas, and agency that teachers are capable of, it leads to long-term systemic problems, such as teacher shortages. It is time for a re-professionalization of teaching, one that focuses on trust and collaboration and teacher-owned professional learning that we are already living at Murray Hill Academy. These types of changes shift our perception of teachers from direct instructors to action researchers. Students grow best when teachers are trusted and supported by leadership focused on implementing systems based off of professional learning as prescribed in ESSA. Instead of top-down, one-size-fits-all planning policies for professional learning, individual teacher needs can be identified through teacher-owned inquiry cycles that will be detailed by my colleague, Ms. Bo. All right, uh, to expand on what Mr. Chu was stating on how teachers should be action researchers leading their own data-driven inquiry, our school has implemented inquiry tasks to enhance student learning. We have three inquiry cycles throughout the school year in which each cycle is about three months long. After reviewing baseline data with my co-teacher, uh, we decided to focus on common course standard using scientific vocabulary to manage complexity of topic. We tested strategy, strategies based on student mastery of the assessment. At the end of the cycle, we analyzed and reflected to determine if our strategies had any impact on student learning, and we still found most students were lacking evidence in their scientific analysis, which led us to change our focus standard. As a result, 77% of our students were able to meet and even exceed the standard, which was a 36% increase from our baseline data. In fact, Simon, a student with special needs, was able to go from approaching to exceeding the standard. For me as a teacher, this has proved me, this has pushed me to deeply reflect on the needs of my students to ensure that every student succeeds. Ms. Bo just described her, experience, her individual experience as an action researcher. We supported each other throughout the process by uh, using intervisitation and non-evaluative feedback. Every teacher saw student growth. We envisioned teacher leadership emerging into multi-tiered professional learning opportunities. At Murray Hill Academy, every teacher presented their findings and successes with particular strategies. This gave birth to a protocol database and videos outlining these strategies that any teacher could use based on data. We're proposing this model be expanded on a district, state, and national level where teacher leaders uh, would examine the strengths and weaknesses within and across districts and states to create build by borrowing approaches presented at conferences and virtual spaces. So now for the big question, how to make it happen. Um, in order to make it happen, which we did, um, schools have to uh, use ESSA funding to um, compensate teachers for their time. I mean, that's after school, uh, professional development time, working at districts and state conferences, as well as participating in virtual spaces. In order to make this happen, administrators have to be trained with ESSA funding to think outside the box, to create the time and space for this to happen. And then lastly, you know, teachers have to have time to make this happen. At Murray Hill Academy, um, we meet every day for one period, uh, plus two to three hours a week for a total of eight weeks after, uh, during a school week to professionally collaborate. Um, in addition, 10 out of 25 of our teachers have reduced teaching schedules. Um, as you can see, um, We're going to you know, get lots more questions right. from okay. the judges. Okay. Okay. So we'll let them see if they want to use some of the time okay. to finish up okay. with the last part. Okay. Okay. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Oh, okay. okay. Great. Um, Start and here. so, in order for other schools and states to achieve this, you know, ESA funding is going to have to be used to allow for smaller class sizes and to put more educators into our schools. Like, 
you know, when teachers are, are treated like professionals, you know, excellence happens like we've had happen at Murray Hill Academy.